A few days ago, I posted this survey and over 150 people replied. I asked to select one Benchmade to compete against three Gerbers. And the options for Benchmade were Leiko on the top, 185 SOCP in the middle, and a Bushcrafter on the bottom. I wouldn't want to speculate why, but somehow my viewers picked the most sinister looking and the most expensive one out of the three. Me personally, I would have picked this Finnish-inspired design called Liku because there is nothing more simultaneously bushcrafty, tactical, and just totally cool out there comparing to the Finnish knife. That's what they call Sisu. But my friends, you asked for this, and this is what you're going to receive. See you out there. We're testing these three Gerber knives against one Benchmade. And the Benchmade my viewers have selected for this test is 185 SOCP Dagger. What we have here, Gerber LMF2, and two kind of look alike Gerbers. The strong arm, the ever popular, that's sold through every sporting goods outlet out there and uh, this is a little less common prodigy per the rules of my test that I posted in the uh, survey whatever I do with the, each one of these Gerbers I'm gonna do three times with this Benchmade there are three requirements that every one of the US military knives has to meet so the very first test uh, that the government imposes on all military knives is sheath retention. Sheath retention is a fairly easy test. Is raise the hand with a knife that's fully inserted in the sheath, starting with the LMF2. Raise it all the way up and quickly bring it down and see if knife was retained in the sheath. And LMF2 does not pass the test as the gap between the sheath and the handle has opened up. And a strong arm is next. Again, the knife moves away from the sheath and only retain in place by the strap. Same story in the Prodigy, it moves away from the sheath. Benchmade 185 SOCP. It has a leaf spring clamp that secures the knife by the handguard to the sheath. It securely and positively engages the handguard and can only be released by your thumb. Three times as promised and obviously you don't need to be a technician or an engineer. Next up is a cutting test again coming from the government specification for fighting knives. This test uh, requires cutting oak wood no less than 10 times at no less than 30 degree angle and no damage resulting to the edge. LMF2 and uh, this is my uh, piece of oak and cut one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and uh, the paper test. All right, that even cut even better. So this knife would have passed. Let's go with a strong arm next. One. Mm -mm. Need to find a better angle here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
nine, ten. It was eleven, but one was a slip. We clean the debris off the edge. There you go, folks. This one's still cut. Now, last Gerber here. Let me show you. Let's flip it over and go one, two, ooh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. I think one slip, so I'll do one for good measure. Yeah. All right. So that does that for Gerber's. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 20, 20, on this side, 1, 2, 3, Four, let me break this loose. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, thirty. Whew. All right, three V. This steel is amazing. All right, for the next test, I marked an inch and a half line from the tip. So from the tip to each of these lines is one and a half inch because the last out of three tests that government requires for all military knives is the bending test to verify the toughness of the blade. All three Gerbers have glass breaker on the pommel. I have to use a go-between piece of wood or it'll be there forever. Try it like this. All four nice withstood this relentless hammering with flying colors. which in itself is a test of their reliability and durability. Nothing came loose. All the handles, materials remain in place. I was very satisfied with performance of all four. Mature. LMF2 is an extremely overbuilt knife with a blade at least 50% thicker than any other Gerber I've ever seen, including their packable hatchets and machetes. But eventually I get there, even though it keeps trying to walk away. The belly is so pronounced on this knife that it tries to curve away from the strike. Not to mention this weirdly shaped glass breaker on the pommel. nail it to the tree <laughs> almost there Ugh. this knife is a beast ladies and gentlemen oh, I should say lady and gentlemen yeah 
All right. So I didn't bring the protractor, but not a problem. So what I did here, it's a square corner of the square angle here. That's 45 degrees. That's 22 and a half degrees. So that should give me an idea of how far to go pressing on the blade. So I'm gonna fold it one more time. That gives you gives me 11 and a quarter degrees. That's LMF2. <clears throat> now the you prodigy. See it all on camera. Because I noticed a little bit of a give in the wood, I go past the required angle. There's more leverage. Now the strong arm. Let's double up. One. Benchmade, 185 three, SOCP. Two. Three. Four. Five. Let's double up. One. Going to 22 and two, a half degree angle. Two. Three. All right. So let's examine. Uh, 116. Okay. There's no, uh, there's nothing. Uh, this knife is intact. Okay. Now the prodigy. Like intact. There's no bend in the tip, no bend in the handle. Um, this knife passed. <clears throat> this is the strong arm. I think so strong arm was the only one that uh, deformed slightly. It pro You'll be waiting nope, for... Nope, it looks straight. And... Uh, This is like a leaf spring knife. Like, you know how in the movies they make uh, knives out of leaf springs from old cars? If I needed a leaf spring for the car, I would, I would make it out of this knife. Look at this. Nothing. All right. And it's half the weight of the lightest of the Gerbers. I only paid $280 for the SOCP, which is almost the exact price of the three Gerbers together. Ready Was to go? Was it worth the price? We'll torture these knives in the next installment and find out. As for my Scandinavian collection, I guess I'll just have to wait till the movie comes out. Which movie? This one. We gotta go! in Finland.